Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Obadiah, and uh, I was, thought I'd show you guys kind of how my current base setup is. Uh, this is my first time playing on a PvP server, and it is a private server, so there's some mods and stuff changed, and we're going to go over what that is. Um, but I've never built a base based on PvP before, and I was hoping that maybe you could guys uh, could give me some tips. Um, oh, and I am wearing the new skin for the anniversary event, so... Check me out in all my glory. <laughs> all right, so uh, let me kind of show you what I've got going on. I've only been on the server a few weeks. It's pretty much a fresh server. Um, if anybody is interested in being on the server, let me know. Um, we're looking for more people and all that. So um, we have the Stargate mod, obviously, on here. i got a Stargate set up here. A um, bunch of other Stargates kind of just set up throughout the world. Um, which I can use to access. We haven't set up all oh, all different parts of the map. Uh, we are on the center map. Um, so you can see there's a lot of stuff going on there, which is cool. Um, I have chosen to make almost everything from the Steampunk mod. If you guys haven't checked it out, it used to be part of Arc Advanced. Uh, or Arc Advance, excuse me, there's no D at the end. Um, but it was separated into two separate mods. So first we're going to kind of take just a normal flyover. Let's go straight up here. Okay, so where I am on the map, you can see here, it's right about uh, 70, 71-ish, and then 56, 57 uh, on the center map. And I chose this spot uh, because I like to be high up. And there was a lot of great caves to build in and stuff, but I really prefer cliffs. So you see I have this cliff all the way around, it goes pretty much all the way around the entire thing. Um, and it just keeps going here. Do, 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 do. And I surrounded the entire top of the cliff with these behemoth walls, copper behemoth walls, which are found in the steampunk mod. And then uh, the only one entrance, there's only one land entrance. And that's right here. It's a ramp that going up, so I've got a few behemoth things blocking it. I know I do have some gaps. Like if you see right here, there's a gap. I think you can crawl through it. Which obviously is not ideal, and I do need to patch that up. And there's a few places where that's at. But, uh, I like it. I think this is just the start of my PvP base, so I'm hoping you guys can give me some tips. Okay, I've also I've got two main buildings. I've got one here. This is kind of the main building, and we're going to go through that one. Uh, but before I wanted to quickly show you, this is something I'm just starting to build. We have a Metal Cages mod, uh, which seems pretty cool. And I figure I'm going to use this as flyer parking. Right now, there's no turrets on it, no spikes, no. Uh, oh, someone came on. No, uh, you know, defenses at all. I just started building this, and I just painted it brown and red. Um, but I do think it looks cool. And I figure it kind of gave like a bird cagey look, though this more, looks more like a jail cell look. So I made it all square. We can park flyers. Um, so best ways to defend that? Let me know, please. <laughs> Okay, so that's that, and we're going to go over kind of the main building down here. Um, so, what I've done, uh, it's all on, for the most part, on pillars. I did use foundations wherever possible. Um, I don't know if that's actually more sturdy, but in my mind it seems more sturdy than just putting it on pillars. So, if you go in the front door, uh, you see nothing. Just another door. So, I do have this hallway, and there are some turrets in here, which actually don't have any ammo yet, I don't think. Um, they are powered, but they're not turned on. All the inside turrets don't have any ammo yet. So I've got this hallway that goes all the way around. So no matter where they break in, down here, they do have to go through another layer of walls before getting to all the good stuff. So there's that, and uh, I'll fill these up. I may put a couple plant species of X in here, maybe. I don't really want to deal with the water situation since the rain can't get in. Um, or more turrets. I might also put some dilos, some of dimorphodons, something like that. And then... If we go through the next set of doors, it leads us into the main the main deal. And here is where I've got all the crafting stuff set up at stations. So, I'll kind of go through what some of it is. A lot of this, uh, like obviously you might recognize the chemistry bench, the smithy, right? Those are normal things. Um, these vaults, uh, both the wall vaults, which have 100 slots, and the uh, just these advanced vaults, which have 250 slots, come from the Arc Advance mod. Which is, by the way, a fantastic mod. I definitely recommend getting it and the Steampunk mod. Um, and so these the Advanced Crafting Station and this uh, Fabricator 2.0, which is just a smaller fabricator, both also come from that. 
Um, I've also got these portable refrigerators over here, uh, which are great because they have 150 slots each, um, enough to keep plenty of stuff. Um, see, tons of cooked meat in there. All great stuff. Uh, they're portable, also from Mark Advance, I believe, uh, and they have 150 slots, which is awesome. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the space here yet. On this side is kind of where I have like the kitchen area. From all the different mods we have, I tried to put all the different cooking type things. So I got the basic stuff, a grill, which I'll probably never use, to be honest, because there's way better stuff in here. Um, I got an a electric smoker, which takes place of preserving bins for making jerky way faster, and it's pretty amazing. A uh, stove, the advanced cooker where you make some cooking stuff. The kibble cooker, which I'll come back to in a sec. Um, this is an industrial cooker, but this is actually one from Arc Advance. You can see I can actually pick it up, which is super nice. Um, we can make some beer in the industrial fermentation thing, which I've actually went ahead and done. And then a kitchen sink, get some water, and you can put uh, something on the side here. There's enough room. In the description of it, it says enough room for a mortar and pestle. But I decided to put this camp stove on it because I have a chemistry bench. Don't really need a mortar and pestle. We also got a pantry, which lets you store some cans of preserved vegetables and make trail mix and all that. Uh, I have not used that yet, so I don't really know what the deal is. Um, some more cook stuff, a wood cook stove, copper coal stove, which is from Arc Advance. Um, now this here, the advanced stove, is amazing. Not only does it run on electricity, but it cooks meat like insanely fast. I wonder, do I have any raw meat in here? Let's check it out. Uh, da, 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 raw meat. I think I took it all out. Let's go grab some. Uh, I have a trough of meat outside because I am raising some babies right now. See, I got a growing giga and a couple RGs. Um, let's just take like a stack of 200. Let's see how fast it does this. Okay, okay. And... Let's see how... Uh, is it on? Oh, turn on. So watch it go. Ugh. Looks like nothing. Oh, let me get a little better position here. And there it goes, 15, and it'll do that. And you can just leave, I put a ton of meat in there, just let it go, and it's going pretty quick. Um, you don't have to worry about it running out of fuel. Now all the main crafting stuff is over here. This is the ancient bench, which is used for all the Stargate stuff. Um, you got the advanced cauldron, which makes some supplies for Arc Advanced, or Arc Advance. Notice that you can make copper plates, smelted copper and glass panels, uh, and coal. This stuff does not translate to the steampunk mod, which also makes those same things. It makes uh, coal, glass panels, smelted copper. Uh, these ones say AS. Very different. They do not merge between each other. Um, so, we got like workstation and a steam workstation and a electric steam workstation with both their crap building supplies. Uh, we have the copper industrial forge which can make uh, copper plates and whatnot, and the metal blast forge, which is amazing. Um, I believe, so it does metal ingots, um, as well as make some other stuff, but the metal ingots is not two metal for one ingot anymore. With this, it is, I believe it's 35 metal for 58 ingots, something like that, so you get almost double, um, which is pretty amazing. Um, then you got the steam power coil generator and powered press, which I haven't actually figured out how it works, and I haven't really used it yet. But you can make oil and fertilizer, and I believe this generates power. Um, with your advanced charging station, you can make some alien fuel cells and an incubator, which I cannot figure out how it works. And then, uh, so I have two industrial forges here. The reason is, I made this one first because it runs off of power, which is amazing. But it does not make charcoal. So I made the gas one to make charcoal. And right in between is your impact crusher, which makes um, all sorts of organic uh, cementing paste and spark powder, which works pretty much the same as the other stuff, but also it lets you unbag jerky. So when you make jerky in this uh, advanced electric smoker, it comes in bags, which I think you saw, I probably have some in here. And so you take a bag and you go throw it in this thing, turn it on, throw it in here, and it automatically does it. Look at that, five jerky. Pretty amazing. Um, and it also, the stuff in the bag has no spoilage timer, which is nice. You can hold on to that forever. Okay, so anyways, back to the base. This is where I have the crafting stuff. Everything's here, pin coded, and the whole deal. You go upstairs. I think I'm gonna put a couple turrets down here, by the way. Maybe it's also some morphodons and sabers and 
dilos or whatnot, just to protect it if it gets broken in here. Up here, I haven't done a whole lot with yet. I've put a couple turrets for anyone coming up the stairs. Uh, a couple more crafting things. All the stuff up here is skin related. We have the Game of Thrones mod, uh, which most of this is from in the pimped, uh, pimp smithy, pimp, pimp your dino mod. Uh, which, you know, that stuff's all in here. I haven't actually used that much yet either. And I just have a couple beds. Um, what's great, are these, these are the copper beds, right? The copper beds uh, actually have no cooldown timer, so you don't need a ton of them. So I do plan on putting a few more scattered around than this. So, this is the upper level. If you go outside, uh, you obviously run out of spikes. <laughs> now, out here is where I have, uh, I'll kind of fly around from the other way so you can see it. Um, I was originally was going to put a little balcony here, but I actually could just get rid of these doors now that I can't walk around. Let's go down to the bottom and get something to fly around with. Okay. So, check it out. So I've got, on each corner, four plant species X, and then by each door another two, and also by each door, two auto turrets. And I have that going around the whole way. Um, plus on top, I've, and I obviously everything else is clearly covered in spikes, uh, metal spikes. And everything on top is also covered in spikes, but I've also got two more turrets and two more plant species X on top. A little elevated so that way the spikes don't get in the way. Um, as far as base defense is concerned, that's pretty much it. I'll kind of show you how else I've got things going on. Got a bunch of water tanks here, fueling everything in there. I also have a water pipe going all the way out to the river outside. That way it gives me just a little bit more, um, that way I don't have to worry about the rain, even though this many water tanks should be enough. And if that thing gets destroyed, I have the water tanks as backup. Now going back through the front, and uh, going out one of these doors here on the side, I do have a couple side rooms. This one here is just, oh, I'm starving. This one's just an incubation room. Um, got a bunch of uh, reusable air conditioners. I mean, you can pick them up and put them back down again uh, from Arc Advance in here. So about a ton of them. So I've got uh, what almost 4,000 insulation, which is crazy. Enough to incubate anything. And let's grab some food. Do I have any veggies or something? Hey, look at that, some medjos. Oh, oh, a little bit of lag. Yep. All right, there we go. All right, eat some of that. Let me put it back. On the other side leads directly out to my greenhouse. Uh, I've also got this this uh, thatch processor, auto compost bin, and fertilizer silo. The way it works, you put wood in the thatch processor, turns it into thatch. Then puts that into the auto compost bin, which also auto gathers poop. And that's why I have a few omea sitting right outside of it. And then uh, that puts it in, uh, makes uh, fertilizer, and then throws it in. So it's great. You don't need beetles for fertilizer anymore, and it's amazing. Or or the regular compost bins. So that's kind of the basics of my base. Um, I don't know what to do with my dinos yet. Right now they're just kind of lined up along the sides, and so I need to figure something out. So if you guys can give me any advice on what to do, how to do better defense what the next step I need to take is. This is a lighter PvP server. Um, most people are pretty friendly, but I do want to be prepared just in case someone isn't. Uh, so let me know what you think I should do. Um, uh, yes, that's it. This is just a quick little short video, kind of showing my base and asking if uh, asking for some tips. Like I said, my name is Obadiah, and I'll probably be making some more videos on this server. Uh, if you're interested in joining the server, let me know. And, or if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to ask them in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this, uh, feel free to subscribe. All right, guys, I will see you later.